Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to analyze crystal field splitting in tetrahedral coordination in Reiki. First, let us see what is crystal field theory. Crystal field theory is an electrostatic model which considers the metal ligand bond to be ionic, arising purely from electrostatic interactions between the metal ion and the ligand. Here, the ligands are treated as point charges in case of anions or point dipoles in case of neutral molecules. There are five d orbitals in isolated free metal ion or atom dxy, dyz, dxz, dx square minus y square, dz square. All of them are degenerate. Degenerate means they all of them have this same energy. Under the influence of these ligands in tetrahedral field, there are four ligands. The energy is increased. So, average energy of the orbitals in spherical crystal field. See, look at the picture here, dxy, dxz, dyz, dx squared minus y squared, dz squared. Here you can see these orbitals, these three orbitals are between the axes. So this is called T2 orbitals. Here these two orbitals, dx squared minus y squared, dz squared, these orbitals along the axis, they are called E orbitals. See, this G is we are not going to use it for tetrahedral geometry because this is not a symmetrical coordination entity. So we go to use for tetrahedral coordination entity T2 orbitals and E orbitals. You can see here that four there are four ligands. One, two, three, four ligands. None of the d orbital point directly towards the ligand. Dx squared minus y squared. Then here dx square then here you can see that between the axes but uh, these three orbital uh, that means dxy dyz and dxz they are just close to the directions in which ligands are approaching so that is why what will happen so this will experience more repulsion more repulsion means uh, greater the energy so that is why when compared to dx squared minus y squared and d sub squared these three orbitals t2 orbitals energy is increased so that is why now that this is splitting into two set of orbit this one is barycenter here that energy is constant so now these five d orbitals split into one high energy t2 orbitals and another one low energy E orbital when compared to this one here it is increased increased by plus 2 by 5 why 5 there are 5 D orbitals increased to when compared to these two orbitals increased so plus 2 we are using then what about here here we will use minus 3 by 5 decreased by these three orbitals so minus 3 by 5 so this splitting we call as crystal field splitting that is represented as delta t for tetrahedral coordination entity this energy is very low when compared to octahedral coordination entity so that is why Low spin configurations that means low spin tetrahedral coordination entity is very rarely observed. Thanks for watching.